Tim Comer with MSI Viking. I am the vision and optical specialist for the company and I'm here today with the HDV CNC from Steric Digital Comparator and it's truly a walk up and measure system so we're going to demonstrate this today for you so have a part up we're going to go and walk up and measure a part. First thing you do is you come over and what I'm going to go ahead and do is skew the part which allows the alignment and then I'm going to take another line as you see it's touch screen so I have two lines here and you can see them on the video okay between those two lines I'm going to do a datum I press datum it automatically defaults to datum I highlight the two lines and now I have a datum in the corner and you can see it better here so with that now I want to measure these circles so I'm just coming over and measuring the circles real quick so now that gives me some data that I can look at and see on here no simple part simple measurements but all my circle locations in X and Y from that gives you your diameter I can also go here to my distance key and do the distance between the two circles. Okay, With the distance between the two circles, I can do the nearest distance with the change button, the farthest distance, and a lot of people like center to center. I can do that with all these circles are. We can move around being joystick and CNC. I can go to another part a slot, we do have a slot reference on the screen. Press slot reference, press the slot, done. Got the length and width of the slot. Okay, so what we're doing is moving around the part to measure some other features. So let's do this angle here. So again, I can tell it I'm doing a line or I can just press the line and it gives me the line. You can show it. We are actually drawing the characteristics as we measure. So now I can go to angle and do the angle of these two lines. Now one also one of the neat features of walk up and measure is I can annotate the characteristics that we are measuring. So with this circle, I can move this around and get all the different diameters, for the slot, I can get the length, I can get the length and the width of the slot and put it on there and then the angle. I can also nominal and tolerance these where it have right here with the system. I can go in and rename the angle to my favorite name, which would be Tim, as you can see on the screen, done. Okay, then I can hit actual and give it a nominal and I'm gonna do 90 degrees hit done and then we have a tolerance button so I'm going to give it a tolerance of plus or minus let's say five degrees and hit done and then that is tolerance so we can nominal intolerance and what that gives me is when I go to report at the end it, I can show a nominal intolerance report or either I can do a CSV report, which will go to Excel, okay? Or we have other reports, a tolerance report with all your X and Y locations for the system. Also, we can export directly to Excel. So if you have an Excel spreadsheet you need to populate with this data, you can write a macro and populate the data with the Excel spreadsheet. So a lot of reports are flexible and done, as you can see. Now when I put this back on the part, it shows up on the part for the measure. Not only did we just walk up and measure this, we wrote a program. So to see the program run, I'll just go back to my starting position. So I'm going to go M3 run, and it's asking me for, see the blue line flashing? I can put notes, anything here telling it where the start or the operator where the start 
the program, but it's asking me to do the first skew. Skew is done. Now it's asking me for line two, flashing on the screen here. So I know where to take line two, done. And now the program will run. So it's going to go and click off all the circles, go over to the slot, measure it, move up to the angle, measure it, and then the report's coming out. And in the report, there is the tolerance we can do. We can tolerance every feature we want to. We can save this program and run it again. Uh, parts in, if you put a part in a fixture in the same location every time, uh, it would you just hit run, or we go back to it and tell it where it is when I hit run. Comes up and asks you that. Is the part in the same location? If I hit yes and you have a fixture where it's positioned properly, it will proceed and measure the next part. But if you have no fixture and you want to go measure the same program, when you press run, it will ask you, you say no, and then you just tell it again where the part is, and then it will proceed after you tell it your data. So truly a walk up and measure machine with the HDV 400 CNC. We have these models in manual or joystick with CNC. We have a 300 version, a 400 version, and a 500 version. Truly a walk up and measure system that really redefines comparator measurement.